Right guys, we got a funny one here involving the God Emperor Donald Trump and his recent trip to hospital along with the comments he made afterwards that instantly salt mined the odious little toad Bill Gates, forcing him to come out on what looks like a serious case of damage control because Trump's words might well be costing him money now. In fact, I bet it's likely that it will. I'm sure some countries will steer away from the current preference they have for things involving the tosspot Bill Gates, who last I checked was a computer guy, not a virologist, but I guess money talks and bullshit shit walks as I've said before so now he's an expert or at least he is in the media's eyes to us he's a no good snivelling shit weasel beyond the likes of even Jeremy Corbyn I would say but of course as we should all know rich prats like this always have their grubby little mitts deep in anything they can make money from without a set of morals you could live by for instance it's well known at this point that Bill Gates favours population control having said it himself making him to most people untrustworthy before you even get into anything deep that this snake has been involved in but let's be honest, that's not really up for debate. Now I feel I should say I doubt Trump was directly salt mining Bill Gates with his comments he was more likely doing it to boost the US economy by showing strength after his hospital stay and giving people hope of a way out, which will also help him in the upcoming election. But I'm sure you would all agree even indirectly salt mining Gates is a good thing in my opinion, which the Daily Mail picked up on allowing us to bask in the salt coming from Bill Gates. Now most of the article is explaining the treatment that Donald Trump used called monoclonal antibodies which as yet I have not heard the broadcast media report once in the UK but I could be wrong. But given that it's helped Donald Trump in what a week who is last I checked an old man in the so-called at-risk category I would say it's certainly promising if true which is likely the reason why the media are avoiding it like the bubonic plague. Much like the WHO coming out against lockdowns which obviously the mainstream media have completely ignored which might also explain why this snivelling shit weasel is out on what looks like damage control because his investment just took a hit on the back of Trump's comments because obviously Trump saying he is cured is putting a spanner in the works I would bet and some of the things he says in the interview suggest he is on full damage control like I said because he wants his vaccine pumped out so bad that he even says it which I will say now I will never be taking that is for sure but one particular bit I found rather odd with his statement was this while Regeneron who is the company that makes it has shared promising results of the treatment which cut the viral load of patients not hospitalized while claiming that there is no evidence to cut the risk of death or cure patients. Now obviously I am no medical expert but last I checked the viral load is what makes the virus dangerous and if memory serves it's also what makes you contagious. A small load generally is harmless but a large dose of a virus makes it more potent and also makes you contagious I think. Though like I said I'm not a doctor or anything like that but from my basic knowledge and reading I am sure that is how it works which is also why the PCR test is such a shit show. It finds old harmless fragments of a virus more than it does a harmful infection, giving massively inaccurate figures. You know, the 93% false positives that the Tory MP Dominic Raab stated and so have many others because we are being spoon-fed bullshit at this point. Now on top of Gates attacking what Trump said, claiming that it's inappropriate, he also decided to attack the state of Florida for not bowing to the demands on lockdowns, a bit like Hungary who rejected what I can only describe as a bung from the IMF to shut down their economy like we did. Or should I say, like the cuck Boris did. Florida itself actually plans to let all fans in the stadium and Trump has a few rallies there so naturally Bill Gates and the snivelling shit weasels like him are incomplete shit fits. And I have to say, I fucking love it. Please Trump, continue to sort mine these wankers. He needs to start telling Boris Johnson about himself also, if you ask me. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>